girl, you are confident if you can pull off having sex in your hallway while family might come around the corner. <laughs> and she is kind of like struggling, like, do I want to team up with this hot, sexy dude who is actually probably not that great for me? Or do I just want to do it on my own? And then of course she chooses for the first option. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to the worst books that I read during 2021. And honestly, it's not a huge pile. I have three physical books here with me and one of them I actually already like shoved away, moved it out of my bookshelves. Hopefully it has found a happier home right now. <laughs> I think overall I will have finished around 46 books by the time that 2021 ends, which is a new record for me, mostly because I had a gap year. So I had lots of time to read what Whatever I wanted but this year I also really focused on my mood reading I really wanted to like give in to reading whatever I felt like reading and it was such a great decision hence why I think I only have four books on this list I mean there are more books that I felt a bit disappointed by but these four are the ones that either like disappointed me the most or that I just full-on DNF'd I did not finish one of these. Let me know in the comments down below which books were your least favorites that you read this year because I always like talking about worst books as well because sometimes and I definitely have a couple of those you have unpopular opinions and it can actually spark a really nice discussion so if I'm talking about any of these books and some of them are your favorites I definitely know some will be your faves. Please do not feel attacked this is just my opinion and my feelings. So <laughs> we'll just start with the least worst book, but still one of the worst books that I read in 2021, which is Blood Moon by Lucy Cthu. And I was so excited to pick this one up because I have been book browsing a lot and I always stumbled upon this book. It has some of the themes that really appeal to me the most that usually would become one of my favorite reads. It talks about periods, sex, and online shaming. Basically in this book, we follow Frankie, our main character, and she has sex for the first time with Benjamin. It was a ton of fun, only she started her period during sex. They both agree that it's totally fine, it's totally normal, it's okay. Frankie does not have to worry about anything until this meme goes viral in their school, which turns their fun afternoon into something that is really not great for Frankie, and she starts to wonder if she is disgusting. But perhaps some of her friends can help her out this darkness, and this is a how'd you call that? Like a novel in verse. So I flew through this book. I think I read this within two sittings, but oh my gosh, was I so disappointed, especially in the friendship element of this book, because this was supposed to be one of the themes that would be in the foreground whenever you go through something hectic, through something so shitty as being shamed online for something that is so normal that your friends would help you out and stick up for you. But I remember because I read this book at the beginning of the year, and actually most of these books I read at the beginning of this year, so my 2021 didn't start off amazing. What I really, really disliked about this book is that Frankie and her best friends were supposed to be best friends, but they hated each other and were doing all of these things to work against one another. And it kind of felt like women hating on women without any purpose. And I think, but don't quote me on this, mild spoiler, I would say that in the end they make up even though they do the most shitty things to each other, which is not what I like in a female friendship, okay? Also, I mean like sex can be different for anyone, but I feel like this first time, time? Why did I say that so like, intensely. I feel like Frankie's first time was so adventurous. I'm like, girl, you are confident if you can pull off having sex in your hallway while family might come around the corner. <laughs> so mm, I want to say that's maybe a bit unrealistic, but perhaps some of you guys have had such an amazing first time experience. I just felt extremely disappointed in the female friendship aspect of this that I was like, not so great. I think my number three worst book of 2021 is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I know that you guys will come for me in the comments with this choice. I was so excited about this. This is the beautiful fairy loot edition. I just want to show you because oh my god. Ooh, wait. And the best part I haven't even shown you oh, is the artwork on the inside of the dust jacket. It's so beautiful. This is like a demonic fantasy I want to say or like an urban fantasy I always find it so difficult to classify these books it's like a fantasy that takes place in our world but has like creatures from a different one I don't know how to explain this 
We have two sisters, Amelia and her twin sister, Vittoria, who are Strecha. So they are like witches living under humans and it's supposed to be a secret. Only Vittoria gets murdered and Emily is really on the lookout for who killed her twin sister. Then Amelia, who is looking for the killer, meets Wrath, one of the wicked, a prince of hell that she has been warned against when she was a child. However, it seems like Wrath is kind of more on Amelia's side and she is kind of like struggling like do I want to team up with this hot sexy dude who is actually probably not that great for me or do I just want to do it on my own and then of course she chooses for the first option. <laughs> the beginning of this book I was actually really quite intrigued just the setting felt super super nice but the further that I got into it the more that I despised the choices that our main character was making also Wrath is you know supposed to be a prince of hell a demon prince but Amelia is able to keep on tricking Wrath and doing all these things that he doesn't want to do so it feels unbelievable that he is supposed to be this big big bad guy and towards the end I just felt so distracted. The plot didn't interest me at all anymore. The only thing that kind of moved me through it was the tension between Wrath and Amelia and I know that a lot of you guys enjoy their romance so much. I thought it was okay and I thought this book was just meh. <laughs> So I'm not continuing on with the sequel and I think it's such a shame because I was so excited to love this one. Then on number two, I have Star Daughter by Shveta Tekrar, another gorgeous fairy loot edition. I think you would classify this as like, again, an urban fantasy. Our main character, Chatal, has this beautiful silver hair, but it has always kind of been a mystery to her in the outside world as to why does she have silver hair? Her mother is actually a star and has returned to this constellation called Pusha. And when Chital turns 17, she is supposed to like enter this star celestial contest. I kind of had the idea that it was going to be like Hunger Games meets Indian mythology, but it was really, really disappointing. I read the audiobook alongside with this one and that definitely helped me get through it. I really like the introduction to more of like Indian mythology. I've never read anything like this before, so I definitely want to look more into it because I still wanted to have a little bit more of like explanation regarding the mythology and I didn't really get that from this book, but the contest was just not existent. <laughs> and I really dislike that because that is kind of like the main thing that we're building up to and then it happened and it was just bleh, one huge disappointment. I don't know what sound I made but yeah that was me. <laughs> I truly do not know what else I want to say about this book just because I forgot so much of it so this was just a disappointing and forgettable novel for me. And I wish that I would have just like DNF'd it halfway through because that would have saved me a lot of time actually. <sighs> okay, and then the worst book that I read in 2021, I DNF'd it literally after the first quarter of the whole book that I read after 70 pages and that is Call Me By Your Name by Andre Akiman and I read this for the reading Noelle Gallagher's favorite books. I really want to make more reading X booktubers faves. I literally only made two of them but I thought that they were so much fun to make and this book I know that a ton of people really really enjoy it but it just made me feel so extremely uncomfortable. First of all I really dislike the writing style. We are supposed to follow like this 17 year old main character and his parents have this house in Italy and he goes to Italy every single summer and they take in like guests who can stay at their house as well and you know kind of like do their thing. The summer that we are following him in this book a 24 year old university professor dude stays in their house in Italy as well and they actually have kind of like a summer romance. The age gap made me feel I don't know maybe it's not even the age gap that made me feel so uncomfortable but more so the way that our main character I think his name was Theo fell in love with this 24 year old man and the relationship was really weird. <laughs> I also watched the movie and it didn't make it any better. I really did not like it at all. So the writing style for me personally is just not the way that I like a story to be told. I know some people will actually love it so much but this 17 year old guy knows so much about very specific subjects, very philosophical interests and everything so I feel like that's not what most 17 year olds enjoy. Not shaming you if you do like good for you but I just 
felt so confused <laughs> and dumb. It made me feel really dumb as well because I didn't know any of these things. And he becomes so obsessed with our love interest. I don't even feel like it can be called love anymore. It's just like an absolute obsession. He does the weirdest things. He smells our love interest's underwear. He licks it. He tries to find hairs. It's just, I don't know. It made me feel so uncomfortable. And then I didn't even read the freaking peach scene which everyone talks about. I think one of the most uncomfortable books I have ever read in my life, to be honest. And if you enjoy that, I am happy for you. It's just not for me. <laughs> so yeah, those were the four books that I did not enjoy in 2021. Like I said, let me know which ones you didn't enjoy. I'm very curious to see if some of your least favorites are actually some of my favorites because that could also of course be the case if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would really really appreciate that you can do that by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below and you can also click on the bell to get a notification every single time that i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one which will probably be my favorite reads of 2021 which is a whole lot more fun to talk about okay Bye.